Look, it's cloudy. I know uh, some parts of North America, you guys are getting more rain than you've ever imagined. We had a year like that. Now we've got a dry year. And it's finally a little bit cloudy, a little bit cooler. So, morning horsey check. <laughs> people of horses have moved around. That's people. Peggy's still there. Ruli's still here. Looking good, Ruli. Nice Appaloosa y looking. Lena's here. Lena, how, why, what happened? What'd you make? You never make a mess like that. Usually she keeps things nice and neat and tidy down there. I, um, that is unusual. Hi. You're not usually up this way. You have a little bit of hay. Ugh, what'd you do to yourself? What, what is this? Oh, oh. Did you lie down in your poop poops? Horses are weird. They do that. I don't know why. It's not uncommon though. But it is weird for her to poop up there. She should be pooping right there. That's why I put that stuff there. Anyway, I cleaned up this whole paddock yesterday. A big job. Um, there were a couple, there were three. One, two, three, I think four. What do you want? Springer's here as you can see. Anyways, four holes, so did those, covered them over with mats. I've talked about paddock maintenance, added a little bit up top because horses like hanging out in this corner. Um, so, big deal. So that's done, finally, I've been waiting to do that uh, for a couple of horses now. Springer's here. He's, uh, wow, he's just pooping everywhere. No one spot for that guy. That's good. The back paddock's getting a little bit worn out. Uh, so it's just Luke in there now. He looks like he's interested to see me. So let's go say hi. Birds are going crazy. Had the horses and stuff going on in the arena. So I still have to clean it up. Where's my dog? Oh, there he is. Zeus. Keep up, buddy. Keep up. <laughs> All right, very good. How about these two? Look here. See, when horses come and go here, it's a good opportunity to do a little bit of um, uh, musical paddocks. <laughs> Some noisy bird. Jeez. Anyways, uh, so these two are together now. My two brown horses. Look at Roni, what's he even thinking? Let's see, why am I stuck with this Arabian? Where's my big girl? Well, she's up there, pooping in her shelter. So these guys are kind of neat and tidy. <sighs> That's one of the things that you try to encourage in some way. Let's get horses to be clean and tidy and How's it going, pal? Says I'm itchy. <laughs> well, stop pooping where you eat. It won't attract the flies. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm so lazy. I just have to poop right where I eat. Right? Don't be so lazy. Poop far away. Is there a bear? What are you looking at? So, left my halter back here. Come back. There's a squirrel, right? Good grief. How could you have so much to say in the morning, you know? Just non-stop screaming at something. Anyhow, uh, so uh, I like to move the horses around so that they don't feel, an, you know, any bit possessive over anything, but more than that, really is sort of have that um, variability in their life so that when variability does happen, they kind of just take it in stride. Like, yeah, uh, new paddock, that's cool. 
I like this one. I was here a couple months ago or whatever. So I think it's important to make sure that horses can handle um, shuffling around some. <laughs> yes, Lena, how can I help you? Get over here. Get over here now. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Let me put my halter down. Yes. What is it? You, what's that you say? You need a bath? Oh, okay. We should do that. Ugh. Lena. Well, you know. Why did you do that? You also need... Um, see, horses go together and then... <laughs> are... Uh, uh, sometimes apart based on diet. Lena's a little bit chubby. I can't seem to exercise her enough. So we have some um, some hay that's a little less sugary, which means it's going to be a little less fattening. So I mix the majority of that with a little bit of the good stuff kind of thing <clears throat> for horses that um, I want to lose a little bit of weight on, along with exercise. It's not just diet. Let's put that there. Okay, we're moving on. I don't know where my dog went. Oh, see, every time I think about him, there he is. Zeus! Let's see if I can get him to run. Zeus, run! Come on! Come on! Oops, camera's not even on him. Zeus, come! Come! Good boy, come on! Come on! Sure. <laughs> Good boy. You made it, old dog. That was a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get on with our day. Something exciting will be happening today, I'm sure of it, so I will get back to you when that happens. Till then, see you in a minute or so. <laughs> Cause that's how it works on video. I just cut to the next scene. All right, everybody, I'm here with Lena. We are uh, giving her a bath. Somebody had asked me recently, how often do you bathe your horses? And the answer is not very often. You don't really need to bathe horses too often. Um, they have a lot of oils in their skins and coats that they need, so bathing them can take that out a bit much. And for the most part, they sort of self-clean by rolling around in the sand and stuff like that. So uh, I just want to get her a bit cleaner because, um, well, and uh, mares are in heat, they get kind of messy. So today's the day we're going to uh, get on with cleaning her up. Uh, not really too much to say. We're really just gonna use the hose a lot, and give her a good scrubbing and uh, <laughs> take it from there. So you guys are gonna watch that process. Sorry for the noisy traffic, if you can hear it. It's rush hour. Good area. Look at that. Alright, so the first order of business is uh, get a hose that you don't care about because they're going to step on it. <laughs> uh, second thing I should note actually is I never recommend tying your horse for these kinds of events. Some horses hate being bait. And if you sort of tie them up, then you don't get the opportunity to work on your groundwork and uh, discover any of the gaps that you have when working with water. <laughs> so, you know. A little bit of air in the hose, it's good for her. It's summertime too, so it's pretty warm out. And uh, using just a, a normal hose is just fine. So first things first, I'm just gonna soak her down and get things uh, loose. Thank you. 
You don't like the trampoline, eh? Get off the hose. Get off the hose. No, come forward. Okay. So don't go over there because you hate it. Okay, so something you're doing when you're bathing or doing anything is uh, if they know that something's bothering them on one side or another, uh, keep yourself in between it and the horse. Stop moving around so much. Come here, back up. Now you can choose to let them eat or be on sort of a gravel area. Um, sometimes when they're eating, they're preoccupied with that, so something else will surprise them faster. You know, things to think about while you're doing stuff. Get off the hose. Oh, good. I just stand there and be good. Well, your face is dirty. Okay, that's a pretty good pre-soak. I'm gonna give a bit of scrubbins here. And uh, actually, come to think of it, I need to clean her feet. So. Come here, me. Uh, bath time is a great time to trim their feet because they'll be all wet and soaked up. Now you may see me wandering around with my sandals on and think you should put on some proper footwear. And it's true. So do as I say and not as I do. Wear proper footwear. I've been around Lena so much that I'm kind of confident about it, but I would have to say it is a safety issue. So don't do it. Okay, stay. Standing on the hose again. Get off the hose. No, back up. Good.
They're really good for us. Okay, so we're on to the Okay, so we're on to the part where we gotta clean the back legs. So relax. So I know she's worried about the trampoline here, so I'm gonna do everything on this side of her body. See what the heck is going on. Here, I'll put you on the grass. Stay, Lena. thing. All right. So dirty side, clean side. Clean Lena. Cleaner. Ta da! So, there we go. All done. So, to conclude on bathing a horse, it's actually not very involved especially if they're good about it Lena's pretty good about it so not a lot to do uh, you can use soap some soaps are pretty good they're just very mild if you want to get out some extra stuff um, but mostly you just can pose them down and give them a good scrubbing you can use your hand or you can use a brush so, um, be cautious with the hose some horses don't like a hose some just a little light sprinkling and some can take a full out hose they don't care at all they just eat food so that's about it Lena's all clean see you guys again tomorrow now to let her go roll around in the arena <laughs> oh uh last thing um when they're all wet you can take your hand 
and just sort of squeegee out some of the water, but when it's hot and stuff like that, it's not that important. But they drip dry real easy. So, okay, that's it. See you guys again tomorrow.